In this lesson, we'll create a walk animation. So this is our final rig. So I have added a root control, so that will help you to move the character as a whole and rotate the character as a whole or scale the character as a whole, depending on what size you want to have. We'll start the animation by starting with the first pose. So the first pose is going to be the right leg is going to be in the front and the left leg is going to be in the back. Now, just to avoid accidental selection of this mesh or the joints, we can t uh, turn off the filters for uh, surfaces and for joints. So now, even accidentally, you won't select these other things that is not needed. So I'll select this left leg and move it backwards. Okay, uh, it's better to note down exactly how much we are moving it. So I'll give a value of minus 5 and I'll move this object the same exact distance forward so that is value of positive 5 and I will bring the hip a little bit down okay so I'll give a value of minus 0.7 okay and this one we will give a ball roll so that the leg will be, uh, the heel will be lifted up. So let's give 2.7 or 2.8 some value. Okay. And the hands has to come down. So I will rotate the hand. We'll just keep the hand down like so. And considering the legs, if the left leg is in the back, then the left hand is supposed to be rotated forward. Okay, and one more slight rotation for this second joint. And if the right hand, right leg is in the front, the left, uh, right hand has to be in the back. So I'll select this, rotate backwards. So that's our first pose doesn't need to be rotated too much. We'll keep it somewhat like that. I'll give an exact value of, let's say, 17. And minus 75. The same exact values here. Minus 17 and minus 75. For these also, minus 22. minus 15 okay so that's good enough so this is our first pose now we have to create a keyframe for this first pose and all these controls that we are animating so let's start selecting all of them one two second leg hip three four five six and seven okay so Keeping at the first frame, press S. So that creates keyframe on all these attributes. Just want to make one small difference. I want to bring this legs a little closer. So let's say the value of 1, maybe 1 1.2. And this one also goes here, minus 1.2. So that keeps them a little close together. Okay, so that's our first pose. The auto key is on, so that is good enough. So I have a duration of 24 frames. So at frame 24 frames, I want to repeat the same exact pose further. So at frame number 12, that is the halfway, this leg has to go forward, and this leg would stay in the same place. So let's push this forward. Okay. And let's push this, for example, from here it is 5 units back and 5 units forward. And this has to go further 10 units. So that would be the distance between these two feet. So here I have it in a value of 5. So I have to push this 15 units forward. So that would be somewhere here. Let's give an exact value, 15. Okay, so I think that's good enough. We'll make this ball roll to be zero. And the hip has to come somewhere in the center. And the back leg will lift up its heel. So that's ball roll. 
now this ball rule should not happen from here as you can see now we have a keyframe at frame number one if I make a ball roll value for this in frame number 12 what will happen is this animation will basically start from frame number one through frame number 12 so we don't want that to happen we want that to actually start from the middle so what we can do is for ball roll we will add one more keyframe at frame number six that is key selected and then at frame number 12 we'll give a value of 2.7 if I remember the same value here it's 2.7 yes so as you can see when it crosses halfway after that the heel will lift up we can do this later also that is not a problem so this is just the first step now as you can see the left leg is actually sliding through it should not slide through it should go lifting up and down okay so we basically created a keyframe for this only in z axis okay so the y axis and the other attribute other uh, other uh, attributes will not have any keyframes at frame number 12 let's check that if that is true by going to our graph editor okay so as you can see there's keyframes at frame number 12 only for uh, these two attributes that is I think translate Z and um, ball roll okay so that is the white color and the blue color and all these other attributes just have one keyframe that is at frame number one now what I will do is I will have to lift it up at frame number six for y-axis though that is I have to lift up in y-axis now notice what happens when I lift it up in y-axis I will also have to make this ball rule to be zero and I'll keep a rotation slight rotation here okay now what will happen is it will maintain the same height even at frame number 12 so it doesn't go down at frame number 12 because we don't have a keyframe for uh, translate y at frame number 12 so all we have to do is we have to create the same keyframe here so that's a value of 0 so let's go to frame uh, translate y at frame number 12 and give a value of 0 and thus I have to also make this rotation to be 0 so that will plant it on the ground now we can also give an exact value for this at frame number 6 since we are lifting it up I'll give 2.5 and translate Z I think we have to give an exact value of 5 that is the midway actually and the rotation also I can give an exact value of 35 Translate x is minus 1.2. That's the same value that we gave before. So now let's see. It's lifting up. Okay. And then planting on the floor. That's good enough. Now one more little thing we have to do is the hip. The hip has to go up and down. So at frame number 6 it will go up. And at frame number 12 it will come back to the same position. So that is in translate y 0.7. So let's create a keyframe for this here at frame number 12. Then go back to 6. And here we have to lift up. I think a value of 0 will do. Okay. So let's check that out. Okay. It goes up and down. That's perfect. Okay. Now we just have to continue to do, do this further. So at frame number 12 from frame number 12 let's move to frame number 24 so at frame number 24 this leg has to start moving from here till here so this is a value of 5 right so at frame number 24 it will go another 10 units so that would be 15 sorry that would be from 5 okay this is 5 units so that is 10 and then another 10 so that will be 20 so let's give 20 no I think I'll have to give 25 not 20 at frame number 24 
and then let's further push this forward okay and at frame number 24 this will not have any ball roll make the ball roll value to be zero and let's check the hit position I think it's almost matching up let's give an exact value of 20 and we'll give a ball roll for this starting from frame number 18 that's the middle set key and then frame number 24 let's give 2.7 let's check the playback okay there's some little problems going on okay so this left le right leg is starting to move from the beginning in Z axis okay let's check the graph editor let's check only translate Z as you can see the keyframe is actually starting from here but we don't want it to start from there we want it to start actually from frame number 12 so all we have to do is for translate Z we have to create a keyframe at frame number 12 so let's minimize that for now go here at frame number 12 and for translate Z right click key selected and we have to give a value for this the same value that was here so that is a value of 5 let's go there make it 5 done let's check the graph back again as you can see it stays constant till frame number 12 and then it starts to move let's minimize that and play back okay that's good enough so the first step is good the second step it is sliding for that we have to lift it up after frame number 12 at frame number 18 let's lift it up and rotate it down and we all we can also check the exact values here for the left leg selected so it's like uh, y axis it's 2.5 and rotation is 35 so let's go back to 18 2.5 and 35 okay so that should be good enough let's play that back now okay as we had the same problem before this is staying up we have to bring this down so at frame number 24 let's make the rotation to be 0 and translate y to be 0 let's play it back okay that is correct okay I think the hip is moving a little forward faster towards the front we didn't do the hip up and down for the second step okay then it's moving a little faster here the other thing that I can do is I can make this translate Z to be constant instead of making it smooth here it's increasing 10 units here it's increasing 20 units that's, so that's correct let me just make it flat straight that is linear okay now let me check that out okay I think that's good enough let's just uh, adjust the translate Y okay so it's going up to 0 at frame number 18 then goes back to frame number 24 okay so let's go take this at frame number 18 lift it up to 0 and then at 24 bring it back to the same value that was there that's 0 0.7 minus 0 0.7 let's check the graph back again okay so we've got the same exact path okay that's perfect so the leg is working well now we have to animate the hands let's start with this right hand so the first pose and the last pose will be the same so it goes halfway and then it goes to the full other side then comes back to the same starting place so I'll set key here and a set key here 
and in the middle exactly at frame number 12 it will go exactly to the opposite side so that is minus 17 let's play that back okay so the hand goes forward and backward okay so let's try the same thing on the next joint it's the first pose and the last pose are the same but in the exact middle let's lift it up a bit okay it's going up so I'll just maintain the same pose I'm not going to rotate it too much maintain the same pose but here in the middle I will lift it up a bit because when it comes back down it will have a small yeah, there you go small follow through so there we go. I think it's too much noticeable let's make it less uh, something like minus 30 to make it less noticeable so okay let's look at the graph editor and see if we can make it a bit more smoother I think this is good enough maybe I can push this keyframe a little front and that value is good enough I think minus 15 to 0 okay now we can do the same thing on the other side So starting from there, last keyframe the same, but in the middle, let's push it backwards to exactly the next opposite value. So that's positive 17. Let's check for the next one. So it goes back, and then comes forward. So starting from there, it has to come slowly. So I'll push it a little up. Minus 30 is the same exact value that I gave there. And let's move to 14 and push it to 0. And finally, it will be the same. Copy, paste that frame here. Let's play that back. okay so to make it more interesting we can do some more animation let's say we can twist the head a little bit so let's say start from there frame number 12 you can make him turn look at you then you can hold the pose for a minute then goes back especially when you rotate in all three axes you have to be very careful in how you're modifying it so it's basically turning this side and then continuing to walk <laughs> 